Hi, I'm Princess Harris, the Migration and Me Program and Sustainable Food and Land Use Coordinator at Faith in Place. And we are at Bobby and Woods, which is located on the southeast side of Chicago, right off the Bishop Fort at exit 69. And today, I am going to show you how you can connect to nature through comedic yoga with our instructor, Angelica. In yoga, we like to start off in a meditative state. For that reason, I'll start with telling you how meditation um, helps. So. Meditation um, allows us to focus on our present moment and also focus in on our breathing in the present moment so that we can become one with ourselves. Once we become one with ourselves, then it's easier for us to become one with nature as well as one with others. Um, and also in yoga, all of the poses mimic things or, that, or are named after things that are found in nature. Let's start first by extending our legs outward to the front of our mats. So now we're going to take the right foot and place it on our inner left thigh. From here, I want you to shift your weight so that you're sitting on your tailbone, so that you're sitting most upright. Then I want you to place your hands on your left thigh and let's brush those hands down towards our ankles for a deeper stretch. Take a note of where your body feels um, tense. And if you can, I want you to inhale. And on your exhalation, I want you to try to sink deeper into the pose. If your body is telling you that we've reached our capacity at the ankle area, please stay there. If it's said it before, please stay where your body is most comfortable. You don't want to overextend yourself. Taking a few more breaths here. On your next inhalation, I want you to rise back up from the position in the same way that you entered. Rubbing your hand up your leg. In yoga, we like to do whatever we did on one side to the other. So let's switch out legs. We'll extend our right leg and bring our left leg, sorry, our left foot to our right thigh. And again, placing those hands up on your thigh and sliding those hands downward towards your ankle. Remembering to breathe as we go through postures. Taking a few breaths here. And again, if you can, on your exhalations, trying to sink deeper into the posture. Taking just a few more breaths here. Remembering in yoga that a breath is one inhalation with a pause, exhalation, pause. Here you might feel some tension in your legs, so let's just pat or uh, lift our knees up and off the mat individually to shake some of that tension out. Feel free to wiggle your toes a bit and rotate your ankles to relieve some of that tension as well. When ready, I want you to come into what we call a tabletop position. So let's get on our hands and our knees. Here we're gonna start working on tension that we may feel in our backs. So we're gonna do what we call cat and cow pose. So on cat, we inhale and we lift our spines as high as we can. 
And on cow, we exhale and we'll put an arch in our backs, lifting our head towards the sky. So when ready, let's begin our breathing in between cat and cow. So inhale. Tucking that chin towards your chest, lifting that spine high. And exhale, putting an arch in your spine and looking up towards the sky. And inhale, back into cow, cat. And exhale, going into our cow. Feel free to take this at whatever pace feels natural or best to you. You may speed up or you may slow down. Inhaling into cat. Exhaling into cow. Once more, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. From here, I want you to just go back into your tabletop position. And let's go into downward dog from here. So I want you to put your toes on your mat so that you are stable. And when you're ready, I want you to make sure your hands are stable, your arms are stable underneath your hands. And I want you to lift your knees off of your mat. If needed, you want to come off one knee at a time. And let's go into our downward dog. Here you may shift off of your, from the flat footed to on your toes, just to get yourself a deeper stretch. And feel free to alternate between knees shifting your weight from your left to your right or from your right to your left. After you've done that a few times, I want you to try to take the left foot off of your mat slightly to make sure that you have balance. And if you have your balance, I want you to extend that left leg up towards the sky or as high up as you can going into our three-legged dog taking a breath and when ready I want you to release your left foot back down towards your mat oh I was gonna take you down Okay, so you, you, met, you met there already. So then now let's let our knees meet our mat again. And let's go shift our weight towards our feet, going into child's pose. So you wanna put the weight back towards you. So here, and then just shift your weight down. And you can use your arms for support, releasing those elbows towards the ground. It's a child's pose. This is a pose of restoration. It's supposed to give us a moment to breathe and just recharge our energy. Normally in child's pose is where I would em encourage you to promote, I'm sorry, encourage you to say some affirmations to yourself. Here you might tell yourself, I am proud of myself. I am doing my best and my best is good enough. When ready, I want you to inhale back into your tabletop position. And from here, I want us to bring our left foot in between our hands or into a space in between our hands. And here, 
you might need to shift your right knee back a little. You want to make sure that your ankle and your knee are in perfect alignment. You don't want your knee over the ankle, like extended past the ankle, because you can cause an injury in that, in that manner. And from here, I want you to tip your fingers back towards the back of your mat to gain stability. Once here, I want you to place your hands on your knee. And taking a few minutes just to breathe here. When you're ready, I want you to release your hands back towards your sides. And on your next inhalation, I want you to turn your palms outward and then allow your palms to meet above your head. So inhale, lifting those arms outward. Taking a moment to exhale. And inhale, bringing your palms together. Exhale. Inhale, extending those arms up. And exhale, I want you to place your left hand, palm on the back of your right hand. Inhale, and on your next exhalation, I want you to allow your palms to meet your knee. I want you to inhale, sitting up tall. And on your exhalation, I want you to shift your weight. And inhale, coming back to your center. Exhale, releasing those hands back down towards your mat. From here, I want us to come into a low lunge. So we're gonna, sorry, adjust our right foot so that we're on the um, on our the balls of our foot, and to lift that knee off of the mat if you can. Here, I want you to just take a few breaths here. And if you're up for more of a challenge, I want you to bring your arms straight up ahead so we can go into warrior one. Finding a spot to look at, just outward, trying not to focus in on anything that's moving because it can help you, I'm sorry, it will distract you and you won't be able to find balance. From here, on your next ex exhalation, I want you to allow your hands to meet your mat again. Inhaling, and on your exhale, allow your knee to meet the ground again. And when you're ready, I want you to allow your right knee to meet your left knee again. Now I want you to bring your right foot and place it in between your hands. Tipping those hands backwards on your mat to find stability. And once you have some stability, I want you to rise up into a kneeling position. From here, I want you to turn your palms outward. And on your next inhalation, let's bring those hands up three quarters of the way. Once you're three quarters up, exhale. 
And when you inhale, let's bring those palms all the way together. Inhale, sitting up tall in that position. Let's place our left palm on the back of our right hand. And exhale, bringing those hands down towards our knee. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, putting a slight arch in our back. Inhale, coming back up towards center. Exhale, releasing those hands back down towards our mat. On your next inhalation, if you're up for a challenge, I want you to lift that knee off of the mat. Coming into our low lunge position. And just taking a breather here. And if you're up for a challenge on your next inhalation, I want you to come up into warrior one by extending those arms upward towards the sky. Taking a moment to just breathe. And when ready, I want you to extend those hands back towards your mat. Coming into our lower lunge and on your next exhalation, I want you to lower your knee back into the mat. And when ready, I want you to allow your right knee to meet your left knee. Shifting our weight backwards, going into our child's pose. Allowing those elbows to release towards your mat and your forehead to rest comfortably on your mat. From your tabletop position, I want you to come back into your downward dog. So let's lift our knees off of our mat. If you need to, shift one knee at, at a time. In yoga, it's not a competition and it's not a race. We first respect our bodies and listen to our bodies before all else. From your tabletop position, I want you to tiptoe up towards the top of your mat. Once your feet are planted firmly on the ground, I want you to tip, I'm sorry, I want you to walk your hands back down towards your feet. And once you become stabilized, I want you to inhale and come up into a standing position. Exhale, releasing those hands back down towards your sides. Extending those hands outward into our mountain pose. Taking a few breaths here. From here, you can release your hands back towards your sides. And just thank your bodies. <laughs> From here, we'll try one more pose. This is more of a balancing posture. It's, it's what we call tree pose. So there are multiple ways that we can do tree pose because there's modifications for every pose. So I'll start with the, the lowest level and then work my way up and you guys find which level works best for you. So with tree pose, we can start by, the first level would be placing our foot at our ankle and finding our stability there. And in tree pose, you may go into what we call prayer hands, or you may extend your hands upward towards the sky. Finding whichever pose or posture find, feels best to your body. Another form of 
the tree pose would be bringing our foot either slightly below our knee or right above our knee. We never want to place it directly on the knee. And then also again, just finding where your hands feel best, either in prayer or extended all the way outward. Um, another position is to bring that knee all the way up to that inner thigh. And always again, listen to your bodies. And again, finding prayer hands or extending your hands out. And I want you guys to stay wherever you feel most stable. Again, in yoga, we are not in a competition and it is not a race. Eventually you'll find stability in the lower, um, either your lower leg or in the mid leg area and then be able to extend yourself up. Um, another modification of it is to place our foot at, on top of our thigh, going into a half lotus pose and placing our hands in prayer or extending it upward. So whichever one of the four, let's just take a few breaths in either position. And balance and poses, you never want to close your eyes and you it's best to focus in on one space just straight ahead of you. And like the tree, you may sway in this position, but also like this tree, you stay grounded. And when ready, I want you to release that leg back down towards your mat and releasing your hands as well. And because we started on the left foot, let's stabilize our right and do the opposite or do the same thing on the opposite side. So again, either we're starting here at the base of our leg or either slightly below or slightly above our knee or at the thigh area. finding either prayer hands or extending our hands all the way up. And you may find that in this, on this side, you may have less or more balance than you had in the other. That's completely natural. And eventually you'll build up balance in both sides. Again, choosing the space outward to focus on and to never close our eyes. Remembering to breathe, inhale and pause and exhale and pause. And when ready, I want you to release your leg back down towards the earth. Taking a moment to just shake some of the tension out. And on your next exhalation, I want you to fold your body in half towards your mat and allow your hands to extend and follow. If your hands do not meet your mat naturally, let's bend our knees a little bit to help our hands meet our mat. Let's take a step back on our right leg. And then allow that left foot to join. Let's lower our knees back into our mat. Let's push our weight back towards the mat. Allow those elbows to meet the earth again. And taking a moment here just to thank our bodies for joining us today. And from here, let's walk our hands upward. Coming into a, a kneeling 
position. And I just thank you guys for joining us today. Let's go into a seated position and take a few breaths to close out. Let's inhale, pause, and exhale. And when ready, I want you to place your hands into a prayer, prayer hands. And I want you to nod and namaste.